Today is World Wetlands Day and the Lashibi Wetlands in Accra is suffering continued degradation as illegal reclamation efforts by developers continues. The fate of this vital natural resource countrywide also hangs in the balance due to institutional inaction. Frederick Clarence Williams looks at the negative impact of wetlands as the world celebrates the day. Wetlands in Ghana have for the past few years been under active encroachment and degradation. Uncontrolled human-induced pressures continue to destroy this vital natural resource critical to the sustenance of plants and animal life. Wetlands play an essential role in the ecosystem because of their contribution to flood control and regulation of the flow of rivers. The Lashibi wetlands in Accra is one such case in the country, presently facing intense human pressure. Private developers are without any hindrance, first reclaiming the land area for development projects. The way we are allowing people to do anything we like, I think we cannot build a country like that. And sometimes when I look at what we are doing and compared to other countries, we are joking. We are joking. We cannot, we cannot promote tourism when there's flooding, but we can check flooding with wetlands. So please, let's do something about it. The president of Friends of Rivers and Water Bodies, Nana Jomo Sapon, said a decrease in bird population at these sites attests to their misuse. He said the continued use of wetlands as refuse dams has made these sites lose potential as tourist attractions. Whether you are in the village, you are in the city, wherever you are, we are saying that wetlands contain life. And you are, you, human life depends upon wetland, plant life depends upon wetland, and then, and, and then animal life also depends upon it, so don't destroy it. He insists when wetlands management is boldly captured under the water policy, it will in future also inform legislative decisions. 